Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 4. Thoughts? This episode is called Face My Enemy. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers for anything MCU that was released after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I employ you to do so. And then there are some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. So, yeah, we see, you know, this painting was the one thing that survived the, the fire, and there are symbols on the back of it. So, of course, you know, yeah, the... Our team are going to try to to get their hands on it, and yeah, Lance seduces the, this woman and you know grabs this this thing that they need, and you know Sky. I was thinking, oh, that's got to be May, because but apparently, you know, I don't know. I just I thought motorcycles were May's thing, but I guess. Sky is doing them too. Now, what, whatever, it's not a big deal. And everyone on the planet knows what you mean, Lance. And I like that the sound of May laughing scares Sky. She's never heard anything like it before. She's like, it's is everything okay? Do we need to abort? And love the the dance, you know, them you know, yeah, ma uh, making all the, the guards and such. And, yeah, they spot Talbot. And I appreciate that, you know, it doesn't take very long for, for Colson to be like, okay, there's something weird going on here. And he's like, okay, how many drinks have you had? And he's like, one too many. And, you know, later it is revealed that was not the real Talbot, you know. But yeah, you know, if he's sufficiently drunk, maybe he is going to behave like that. And and I like that at the end, he's like, how could you possibly think that was me? You know, and it's like, okay, we get it. It was kind of ridiculous. You know, actually, yeah, wait, are, are we the audience being shamed for believing it? Or is it the writers being like, yeah, you know what? That was not our finest hour. We'll, we'll do better next week. And let's see, yeah, I I quite appreciate that Sky is not really having, you know, it's it's one of those things where like he comes on very strong. There's a lot of women who are gonna respond to that, and there's some who are like, okay, stop, no, no bueno, stop that right now. I hate this so much. Shut up, you know. And Sky is that one, and I 100 based on season one, I 100% be, believe that she would be. You know, he's like, I don't know, I'm just magnetic. You know, some, I don't know, women just, you know, are attracted to me. And Sky's like, if it makes any, if it, if it's any consolation, I don't get it either. <laughs> and yeah, so Coulson has to take a picture of the the guy's eyes for the for the retinal scan and that was legitimately that is a very clever you know yeah he's just been chatting up this beautiful woman and then she's like well I just want a picture with you you know come on husband take it you know and yeah we see that fake Talbot is Hydra. I, I really, you know, this episode has several people, several actors playing not the character they usually do on the show, but like someone pretending to be that. Uh, you know, I guess, let's see. Yeah, so it's it's Adrian Pazdar and Ming-Na Wen. Both play these uh, characters and they do really, really well. Like there's subtle little things that you can tell that's not the real one. And let's see the yeah, and they yeah the the team talk ex you know ex girlfriends ex wives 
and such, and we get the standard joke about, you know, oh, this poor guy had to pretend he liked Kin... Well, I, I don't know how... Ki kin Kinoa? Is that how you pronounce it? I've never... I've seen it written. I, I don't think I've ever heard it pronounced until I watched this episode. But yeah, it's like, oh dear, this... Yeah. But at least, you know, the others do call out Lance on the the raging misogyny whenever he talks about his ex. And, yeah, May gets caught. And we get the explanation for why Talbot was being weird. And, yeah, Agent 33 puts on a mask based on May. And they even point out there is a process to getting the voice right. I'm not entirely sure. Because, like, the it covers the f face. It doesn't go on the, like... As ridiculous as the voice thing in the Mission Impossible movies was, at least it it was over the the uh, what do they call Adam's apple larynx something like that you know yeah yeah larynx I think you know here it doesn't even yeah but then you know the movies made that bit of you know I don't blame the show for wanting to use that tech. And, and, you know, very cool to see it used so well. You know, it, it was used very well, to, to be clear. I love the, the way they use it in the second Captain America solo movie. But, like... Yeah, I, just, I, I feel like it was more... Even better here. And, yeah, they got the location and... You know, 33 puts the, the virus thing on the plane. And let's see. The, yeah, and they talk about, you know, the, the plan. No, no, the, the other plan. And, you know, I, I do really appreciate that they're not, they're not doing the thing where the character thought, oh, we had the meaningful conversation. Because by the end of the episode, Coulson knows, oh, I was, you know, Opening up to a complete stranger. That was actually my enemy. Let's see. Yeah. And 33 realizes that Coulson is the director. Which, yeah, that's definitely gonna... Because cause May didn't kill her. She, she you know, disabled the, the mask. And I, was it just the mask that was burned? Or was it also her face? It looked... Gnarly, but yeah, I guess we'll see. But I'm willing to bet she's going to reveal that in an upcoming episode, and that might be how she redeems herself, because, you know, the other is going to be like, how did you, you know, Whitehall does not seem like he is a very forgiving person, you know. I, I actually, I don't think I've really underlined, Reed Diamond playing Whitehall, fantastic work. Like, he's got this quiet, sinister menace, love it. And, yeah, the the team are sealed inside the plane, and, you know, Fitz and the others realize it's sabotage. And, I yeah, I quite like the intercutting between, you know, Colson and May, and then the, the, the plane, where they're trying to figure out, you know, try, yeah, trying to stop it before... To quote Fitz, and I like the thing when you know we should have that coffee. I've been waiting for you to ask, for that, which is you know that's good thinking. That's exactly you know if it wasn't of um what's the word you know if it wasn't a test, she would have what she said was the exact right thing. But you know obviously she should have been like wait there's something like, you know I hate coffee. Stop joking, Phil. You know so, something like that. But no, you know. I was, you know, I was waiting for you to ask me for the, the that we could have the coffee. Is yeah, very much love the fight between May and Thirty Three. Just yeah, really, really love it. Um, just you know, in general, it's it's great whenever May fights someone on the show. But yeah, her fighting Thirty Three and her fighting Ward are probably my two favorite of her fight scenes so far.
and I like Hunter and Fitz, you know, bonding, you know, even though Fitz is not the, the best, you know, Fitz is like, everybody else is fixing what's already broken, and you're the only one with no technical skill whatsoever. Right! You know, in Fitz's defense, he wasn't trying to, to you know, I he would maybe have tried to phrase it more delicately than that, you know, but the, yeah, and the, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed the thing, you know, oh, so it's fixed, no, 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 the, the wires, okay, uh, so, so that one, no, no, left, I mean, right, and, let's see, yeah, and, and, yeah, so afterwards with, you know, you know, drop whatever you, you're carrying, and he's like, this is extremely expensive, I'm not gonna drop it, you know, carefully puts it, okay, then, not, yeah, put it down then, and, you know, he said, let me buy you a beer, Fitz, speaking as an expert, there's a lot of men, that is, like, you're never, you're, that's that means you've been fully accepted there's no you know that is that is like the equivalent of you know like and i love you or something that's that is the straight platonic macho version of of that you are never going to get a more more tender kind of, you know and fitz joins in on the the ex talk by you know mentioning simmons and you know, for like a second or two, you know, it, it, you know, we see Lance, you know, slightly unclear reaction, and he looks to Mac, and he also has a slightly unclear reaction, and then Hunter says, you know, is like, that's that's her loss, you know, you're you're great, and it's great because for for like a second or two there, we're like, I mean, that conversation's over. They haven't. They they were talking about that, you know, hours ago. You know, and and yeah, some people can't. If if you, you know, I know from personal experience, if you try to to say something like that way after the conversation, some people just don't respond well to that. So, yeah, quite appreciate that. And yeah, so Colson talks to to the real Talbot. And, you know, when he when he first brings up, you know, I, I once spent five months in a, in a war camp. You know, we're like, oh, you know, it's, that, that sounds tough. I, but he learned something that's going to be, you know, but then he's like, you people make me miss that. And, yeah, we close on Reyna meeting Whitehall, who has, you know, yeah, he's he's determined that she was the one who stole the the obelisk. And yeah, you know, as per usual, she tries to talk her way out of it, and Whitehall isn't having it. And he talks about, you know, once he kept operating on the same patient on and off for a week. And the difficult part was keeping the patient awake through all of that. So she has 48 hours, and if, you know, if she fails, he's going to see if he can't top the, that, you know. One week, that's kid stuff. We, you know, he can do better than that, he's, he feels confident about. So, yeah, very cool lead in to, to the, yeah, 48 hours, and, I mean, we know that, you know, it's, it's not worthless according to Sky's dad so you know it's not like she could just go and pick it up and and go so I'm yeah I wonder what he will have to say to that and let's see I think oh huh. so yeah I'm to be trivia for the May versus agent 33 fight sequence uh, let's 
see, uh, stunt performer Samantha Wynn wore a tight-fitting sequin dress, S33, Tara Mac and May's lingerie. As they were unable to hide protective padding under their clothing, the set had to be altered instead. Hard edges were rounded, furniture was replaced with the foam and balsa wood stand-ins to protect the fighters. Very clever. And... Huh. Yeah, and on May's phone, she has contacts of her mom, of Nat, and, yeah, various that we don't know, and, yeah. Um, so, yeah, maybe some of the ones we don't recognize are either references to com yeah, yeah, references to comic books and or like characters that are coming up and let's see yeah right i i like that you know after yeah colson says you know yeah F, F, yeah after colson makes it clear you know he you know he could he could tell that it wasn't the real me there's little things, and she wanted to get coffee. Ah, punch in the face? Yeah, good. And... Let's see. Right, and I like May saying, my face hurts after laughing. And... <laughs> laser grids. Why is there always laser grids? And... Right, and I like the, the various conversations about nostalgia and how, you know, yeah, Coulson insists they they have to, you know, yeah, they have to, they, they need a, a contingency plan. And, let's see. I think that might be about right. I like the you know when when fake Talbot, Fobot, you know catches up to Colson and May. You know seems like you're in a hurry. The caterers the caterers ran out of coconut shrimp. You know for a second I was like okay well yeah that does sound like a complete emergency. You know the the let's see and and yeah the thing with. I think Talbot's still pissed because we kidnap kidnapped him that time. And let's see. I think that might be about right. And and yeah, Mac, uh, you know, trying to convince Coulson to work. To, to let him work on Lola and and the thing with you know the, the dancing you know you liked it no I didn't a little bit a little bit and I think that might be about Right, and the, yeah, um, when, when Sunil Bakshi asks, where are you based? And May says, currently, about five feet from kicking your ass. And, let's see. Yeah. If I ever watched someone I'd worked with for, for years fighting... A clone of themselves. I think I too would say I can't believe I'm the only one seeing this right now.